Hey guys, my name is Wes, and you're watching Wesicles TV, and today I'm reviewing Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates is a 2016 comedy starring Zac Efron, Anna Kendrick, Aubrey Plaza, and Adam Devine. It is directed by, I'm going to butcher this guy's last name, I'm sorry, Jake Szymanski, I think. Anyways, my favorite thing about this movie is the acting talent involved. I'm a huge fan of the entire lead cast. I think that they're all great, and while you don't get a necessarily great performance in any of these characters, I mean, there's nobody who's like, wow, that's a, you know, Oscar-worthy, or even close to that. They do commit 110% to these ridiculous roles, and that's hugely important to this movie because it's a lot of over-the-top, ridiculous-style comedy. And if you have one person out of everyone who's on screen who's, like, holding it back 20%, going 80% hard on this hilarious, stupid joke, that entire scene falls apart. I didn't see that at all in this movie, and that really just made the entire movie work better because you didn't have one scene that was, like, crazy out of the other ones as far as most of the humor. I also thought that the supporting cast was good. I like seeing people on TV who I actually enjoy and see them all the time in a movie. I just It makes me smile, like, oh, I know that guy. You have Jake Johnson from New Girl in this movie. You have uh, Kumail, I uh, don't know his last name. It's a hard name to pronounce. From Silicon Valley or Franklin and Bash. That guy, it's really funny. I just when you see these people, it makes you happier as a you know TV audience guy to see them on screen, and it did for me. The movie's also really really funny, in my personal opinion. It's a lot of stupid humor. It's a lot of raunchy humor. It's very similar to Dirty Grandpa and a lot of the style of jokes. Some of a lot of it's over the top. Not some of it. Almost all of it is way over the top style stupid humor. But for me, this day it really clicked, and I laughed. From the first scene until the last scene, and that's hugely important. That's the most important thing. I don't care if the plot's terrible, the acting's terrible. If I laugh in a movie, it's a funny movie, and that's the goal of a comedy, and it did that for me. On top of that, it did that for most of the crowd, too. I was in a pretty full theater. Most of it was getting laughs on almost every joke they tried. But no movie's perfect, and this movie is far from perfect. Uh, there were scenes that just ran too long. There are scenes that don't need to be there at all. Some of these jokes do go a little bit too far, run a little too long. And they try to keep referencing back to the same type of joke. And after a little while, you're like, eh, okay. It was first funny the first like six times, but now it's kind of old. That does happen in this movie. There's one scene in particular that I'm going to do a small little rant about, so bear with me. There's a scene with Quads, right? You've seen it in the trailer. She gets smacked in the face. Ha, oh, it's hilarious. That scene is so stupid. It is a Paul Blart 2 style gag joke that I don't understand why the hell it's in there. It doesn't need to be in there. It's the point where I think about this movie, and even there's a lot of funny things in this movie. That scene is my first thought. It's like, oh yeah, that scene. No, not the scene where the guy's rubbing his butt up against the other girl's butt, and then she's freaking going nuts. No, that scene is more funny to me, even though it's eh. But it's, it's more funny. It's a it's an Oscar-worthy scene by comparison to the stupid quad scene. For some reason, this guy jumps an extra 30 feet more than every other person who did. They jumped a long ways. And the girl doesn't move out of the way. She, she runs one way, runs the other way, stands right where she was and gets smacked in the face with a quad tire. It's so stupid. I don't get it. Why in the... They would think this is funny. Cut that scene out. Have her kicking the face with a horse. There was plenty of horse stuff in the movie. Have her kicking the face with a horse or something like, oh my god, something else, anything else. Have her get punched by Mike Tyson. I don't care. Not the stupid jumping quad scene. It's ridiculously dumb. Anyways, the movie ran a little bit too long. I could have cut about 10 minutes out and been more pleased with it myself uh, and been ready to go. I kind of was ready to get out of the seat about 10 minutes before that, so it's like kind of a negative for me. Overall, I will say I laughed a lot in this movie. That's the most important thing, and that's why I'm going to give this movie a 7 point. 5-ish out of 10. There was a scene I hated. There was some stuff I didn't necessarily like. And this movie's definitely not for everybody. It's a very raunchy rated R comedy. But for me personally, I did laugh a lot. I didn't, that's why it's getting that score. But it's just my opinion. I want to know yours. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Why are you not button over here? Click subscribe right there. Subscribe to Westicles TV and get all of my reviews. Like the review for Dirty Grandpa, which is another Zac Efron rated R comedy. It actually has Aubrey Plaza too in it. Right here. You can follow me at Twitter at WestNichols14 and just see whatever I'm up to on the tweets. You can share me on social media anywhere you'd like. It means a lot to me. Thanks for watching. My name is Wes. You're watching Westicles TV. Have a great night. Bye.